If you saw it slicing through the clouds sleek, silent and shark-like, you might think it was straight out of a sci-fi movie. But it's not. It's China's top-tier stealth fighter, the Jaitwani Mighty Dragon, and it's causing more sleepless nights in Pentagon war rooms than most people realize. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Another jet, another military flex. But no, this isn't just a fighter jet. The J-20 is a psychological weapon. A message wrapped in radar-absorbing skin, flying at mock speeds. And while the U.S. has been sipping champagne on the F-22 Raptor's supremacy for nearly two decades, Beijing's been quietly sharpening its claws. The first time the world got a glimpse of the J-20 was back in 2011. Most experts laughed. It's big, clunky, probably not even stealthy, they said. Some even accused China of just slapping together some stolen F-22 and F-35 blueprints and calling it innovation. But the laughs died down fast. Fast forward to today, and this jet isn't just operational, it's patrolling. Lurking near Taiwan, and being deployed in ways that suggest China isn't playing war games anymore. They're rehearsing. The J-20 isn't just a single machine, it's a symbol of China's military-industrial leap. A delta-winged, twin-engine ghost in the sky, designed for one purpose, air dominance. And it's not trying to copy anymore. It's trying to outdo. But let's peel back the dragon's scales. On paper, the J-20 shouldn't be underestimated. With its advanced active electronically scanned array radar, super cruise capabilities, and stealth-optimized airframe. It's a legitimate fifth-generation fighter. Yeah, it's still using Russian AL-31 engines on some models, but China has started fitting them with their own WS-10C engines, and there's talk of an even more advanced WS-15 engine that could push its performance right into Raptor territory. Here's where it gets psychological. You don't just build a fifth-gen fighter for fun. China didn't design the J-20 to bong caves or chase insurgents. They built it for you. For the American pilot. For the Japanese radar operator. For the Indian strategist staring at a map wondering, can we win this? The J-20 is meant to haunt your planning sessions. And China didn't just unveil it quietly. They rolled it out during air shows with plumes of vapor trailing behind it like a dragon breathing smoke. They flew it during critical political moments Xi Jinping's visits, military anniversaries, and yes, right around tense Taiwan flashpoints. It's performative, theatrical, almost psychological warfare. Some analysts say the jet's large size makes it more detectable. That it's not as stealthy as the F-22. That it's more show than substance. But let me ask you something. When was the last time a bad jet made a superpower reconsider its entire air strategy? Now, here's the spicy bit. There's speculation and I'm saying speculation, not confirmation that the J-20 might be designed for something a little unexpected. Something beyond air superiority. Some experts believe the J-20 could carry anti-satellite weapons, or even be fitted for electronic warfare modules. That's not a dogfighter, that's a chess piece. And China's not playing checkers anymore. What's even more interesting is how the J-20 plays into China's broader strategy. Area denial. Basically, make the skies so hostile that the U.S. doesn't even want to show up. The J-20's range, combined with China's land-based missile systems and satellite network, could effectively seal off the South China Sea like a locked door. And let's talk numbers. The U.S. has fewer than 200 operational F-22. Production ended early. The J-20? China's already built more than 200, with plans to double that. And they're not exporting them, not yet. This is a homegrown ghost fleet, built to be deployed fast and wide. But here's where it gets murky. Some American officials quietly admit that the J-20 has closed the gap, that it's no longer a question of if it's a threat. But how big that threat really is. Others claim the J-20 isn't a true fifth-gen fighter without super maneuverability and advanced engines. But then again, who says? China's goal was to mirror the West's concept of air power? Maybe they're not trying to dogfight at all. 
Maybe the J-20 was never meant to go toe-to-toe with an F-22 in a Top Gun showdown. Maybe it was meant to see first, shoot first, and vanish like a shadow you can't catch. And then there's the Dark Fleet rumor. According to some defense circles, China may have a classified variant of the J-20, a two-seater version that doesn't just carry weapons but controls them. Drones. Swarms. Loyal wingmen. Think of it like a queen bee surrounded by robotic hornets. If that's true and again, if it could change everything we know about modern air combat. The real question isn't whether the J-20 is better than the F-22 or F-35. The question is whether the West has underestimated how quickly China can innovate when pushed. Because remember, 20 years ago people were still mocking Chinese tech as cheap knockoffs. Today, they're building space stations and stealth jets, while most Western militaries argue over budgets and bureaucracy. And that leads us to one last thing something not often said out loud. It's not about jets. It's about time. The West had a 20-year head start. That gap is shrinking. Fast. But the most disturbing part. We might already be too late to stop what's coming next with the J-20. Because there's one feature of the mighty dragon no one has publicly confirmed yet. A capability that, if true, would mean everything we thought we knew about the balance of power in the skies is.